Trump's DUI scandal. State Representative Robert Watson stopped and arrested at a police sobriety checkpoint. No stranger to controversy, the outspoken House Minority Leader is now facing charges of drug possession and impaired driving in Connecticut. This just 10 days after getting into a shouting match at the State House with House Speaker Gordon Fox. I will allow you, Mr. Speaker, to mischaracterize my position. Well, I, I think before you turn your mic off, you were saying you'd you like turn, a quick vote If you don't it. turn my microphone turn his mic off. Before that, Watson turned heads with his comments about the General Assembly's priorities, saying they favored gay men from Guatemala, gamblers, and pot smokers. We had in-depth coverage of his arrest tonight. Eyewit to News reporter Catherine Sotnik has reaction from the Guatemalan community. But first, let's go to Eyewit to News reporter Walt Buteau, who's live outside the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Watson defends himself in a written statement, but he says nothing about the bag of pot police say they found in his pocket. Yet we still have this persistent barking dog. Point of in the fiery Republican was out of view today. His East Greenwich law office locked up and his state house desk empty. As I've heard, he was booked some... Friday night, and according to the police report, his eyes were extremely glassy and bloodshot. He was slurring his words, and there was a distinct odor of marijuana on him. In his written statement, Watson says he vehemently denies the charges, and while he failed several field sobriety tests, Watson writes a breathalyzer at the station showed that I was well below the legal limit of .08. A test on a urine sample he gave to police is pending. Connecticut's probably going to want to wait until they see the results of the urine sample to determine if he was under the influence of uh, marijuana at the time in conjunction with the alcohol. Watson's due in court in Connecticut on May 11th, but his case is already in the hands of the Rhode Island public now. The court of public opinion in Rhode Island can be pretty ferocious. Watson does also say in his written statement he does expect to make a public statement in the next coming days. He's due in court in Connecticut on May 11th. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.